Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. We are going to return to Anthony Norvell in a very rare book of his called The Occult Sciences. There's a chapter I wanted to read that is called How to Direct Your Pattern of Life by Tapping the Creative Power of the Cosmic Diamond. This is addressing many of the different kind of rays of intelligence that we utilize very similar to the rays that are discussed in the law of one. It's just a very different teaching by Anthony Norvell. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Tapping the creative power of the cosmic diamond. There is a universal ray of creative light that issues from the cosmic diamond of the universe. This creative ray of light is broken up into seven distinct astral rays that you may tap releasing tremendous creative occult power for every purpose in your life. All creation exists in vibratory rhythm. This rhythm expresses itself in nature as form and dimension and is governed by weight, number, measure, and solidity. All these outer objective forces are ruled by laws of spiritual mathematics. The planets in our solar system have their magnetic radiation to other planets and revolve on their axis around each other under a regular cosmic timetable following a cosmic law of periodicity that never varies or falters. This same cosmic occult law applies to all chemicals, all invisible phenomena of electricity, magnetism, and radioactive waves that originate and issue from outer space. The principle in occultism which states as above, so below, is an accurate one, and decrees that the same occult laws that work in the immensity of unending cosmic space must also work in our own individual lives. How invisible vibrations rule the universe. The ancient philosopher Pythagoras taught that a vast system of numbers or vibrations rules the universe and that all matter comes under this rule of mathematics. All created matter has a certain rate of vibration, and it is known to science that in chemistry, all the elements represent various states of vibration and issue from one original element. This creative element expresses itself through seven various forms of action known as cosmic rays, issuing from the cosmic mind or Godhead, which in occultism is called the cosmic diamond. By combining and recombining the seven basic elements, cosmic mind is able to achieve an endless variety of various forms of all creation, from the simplest atom to the most complicated solar system. The occult regime for using the cosmic rays of the universal creative diamond. Following are the 18 steps for guiding you in the use of the creative diamond. One, concentrate on the physical ray that rules your body for at least half an hour each day. Two, put yourself in the center of the cosmic diamond of creative energy and visualize the golden ray of life flowing to your body and its organs, bringing them energy, youthful vitality and healing power. Three, Give yourself a cosmic energy treatment by saying aloud as you breathe deeply, I am now the center of the cosmic diamond of life. I'm inhaling the dynamic occult power that gives me life energy. My body is now being healed by the magnetic currents of cosmic energy flowing to me from outer space. I am the center of the physical solar system and my body and brain are now bathed and the spiritual cosmic fire that cleanses, purifies, heals, and restores every atom and cell of my brain and body. Four, establish the cosmic rhythm of the soul of the universe in your own daily actions. Breathe in slowly and exhale slowly to count of four for each inhalation and exhalation. Then walk about your room to the rhythm of music. It can be any kind of slow rhythm such as 3-4 time or 4-4 time. Let your body rhythm duplicate the cosmic rhythm 
in which the cycles of life are set in the changing of the seasons and in the diastolic and systolic rhythm of your heartbeat, which reflects the cosmic rhythm of all life and energy. 5. Slowly pass the creative ray of cosmic light through the diamond of your physical body, visualizing it as a penetrating healing force. Slowly treat each of your body's organs, starting with the head, going down to the chest, the heart, the lungs, and letting the creative fire flow into the stomach, the generative organs, and onto the soles of your feet. Visualize this ray of creative light from the cosmic diamond as being red, the life force color, and see it slowly energizing and stirring into healthful action the atoms and cells of every organ of your body. You can lie down for this diamond concentration and give yourself about 10 minutes of treatment, affirming in your thoughts, health, youth, life, energy, peace, and dynamic power. How Mrs. R.T. helped her health through using the diamond ray. Mrs. R.T. had a short course in occult studies with me in New York. She had been diagnosed by doctors as having a serious gallbladder condition and they urged an operation. Mrs. R.T. decided to wait for a month or two to see if she could heal herself with the use of the diamond rays. She began to practice this diamond ray exercise, letting the healing vibrations pass through her body every day for about an hour. She treated her mind by affirming she was in the healing light of God's presence. She saw the rays passing through her body, giving off their magnetism and healing power. After one month of this type of occult treatment, Mrs. R.T. returned to the hospital for x-rays, and to her amazement, she found the inflammation to her gallbladder had completely disappeared. She never did have the operation. 6. Now concentrate the cosmic ray of the universal diamond on each of your five senses in turn, taking the sense of touch and feel the various textures and materials with your eyes closed. Distinguish the difference between a rose petal and a piece of cloth, wood, and iron, and various other items until you have sharpened this faculty of touch. Then take the sense of sight and let your gaze go quickly about your room. Then close your eyes and recreate the entire scene, visualizing the objects in the room, the colors, the forms, and relationships of things until you can create it perfectly in your mind. Then turn the occult ray on the sense of hearing. Listen to a symphony on a record player. Try to distinguish the various instruments. Capture the subtle sounds and blendings of sounds. Let the rhythm bathe your senses and lull them with its rhythm, cadence, and harmony. Then listen to outdoor sounds such as the singing of a bird, a tree frog, or cricket in the garden. Let the distant hum of traffic register on your mind. Be aware of the invisible vibratory world of sound in relationship to your physical center of life. Sharpen your sense of hearing by concentrating on various types of sound. Do this same type of exercise with the senses of smell and taste concentrating on tasting sugar or salt or vinegar and let your sense perceptions be fully aware of all the sensations aroused by this process. Let yourself smell some fragrance or flower and close your eyes as you inhale its aroma, being aware of the particular brain centers that are being aroused and stimulated. How a young musician became a great conductor through using the cosmic diamond. It was while I was in Carnegie Hall, New York City, lecturing to thousands that a young man sought me out for instruction in how he could become a great orchestra conductor. He was a fine musician, but he wanted more. He wanted to become a composer and a conductor of note. He began to open the higher brain centers by practicing the cosmic diamond rays pertaining to his sense perceptions. He became aware of the infinite variety of sounds all around him. He listened to symphony 
orchestras and picked out the various instruments as he closed his eyes. He went out to nature and intensified his sense perceptions, not only of sound, but of sight and touch and smell, until he was vibrantly alive, coordinated being who thrilled to birdsong, who could hear a symphony in the sighing of the wind through the trees. He would stand beside the ocean and listen to the waves as they gently kissed the shore. And he would mentally convert the starlight, the silvery rays of the moon, and the soft, lambent sighting of the waves into a magnificent symphony which he later wrote down. Within two years, this young man had written a magnificent concerto, which was later performed by one of the world's greatest symphony orchestras. Within five years, he had become one of our better known symphony conductors with one of the finest orchestras in the Middle West. 7. The next time you go into a cult reverie, concentrate on the intellectual diamond ray. This ray deals with the reason and logic. It controls the imagination. It has to do with the powers of concentration and visualization. Go into flights of imagination in which you project yourself to various parts of the world. In your mind's eye, become something different from what you are. Imagine yourself as an actor doing Shakespeare. Be Romeo or Juliet or Hamlet and let the fiery flood of divine inspiration color your thoughts as you project the celestial flame of the cosmic diamond through your personality. Soon, you will become more magnetic, more inspirational, more creative than you have ever been before. 8. In another period of meditation, ask the higher occult powers to sharpen your powers of reason and logic. Take into your periods of daily occult reverie some problem you may have and apply the forces of reason and logic to it. Ask yourself questions such as, why do I have this problem? How can I go about solving it? Am I using logic and reason to solve it or am I being emotional in my approach to it? 9. Then use the power of higher reasoning to examine the various complexities of your problem. For instance, if you have the problem of lack of money, let your higher mind examine this lack and limitation through the process of higher reasoning. Was it because you were wasteful and threw money away when you had it? Were you lazy and indifferent to financial problems? Did you fail to save money during flush periods of your life for the proverbial rainy day? Was it due to gambling or other habits and vices? When through this process of reasoning your higher mind centers are cleared of the negative charges that you have built up regarding whatever problem you have, you will then be able to channel the higher occult power from cosmic mind to help you solve the problem. This can relate to other problems than finances, to health, romance, work, environmental conditions, or social relationships. How one lady solved her problems by using the cosmic diamond. Laura R. was having severe problems in her home when she learned from her studies of occultism about the cosmic diamond that could dissolve all problems. She sat in daily meditation, concentrating on the diamond ray of divine intelligence. She visualized this ray dissolving all the unwanted conditions that were in her life. She became a dynamic center of infinite intelligence and light. And each day, when she faced her problems, she saw them as being shadows that were being dispelled by the bright light of truth. She later told me that her difficult problems, one by one, began to disappear until she and her husband were completely free and once again happy. 10. To stimulate the power of your imagination and use visualization and concentration, take into your periods of occult reverie pictures that you cut out of magazines or newspapers. These can be various things that you are trying to manifest in your life. Look at pictures of your perfect dream home and project the one you desire to the cosmic diamond ray, asking for it to be manifested in your life. Look at pictures of the perfect car you wish 
and in your imagination, visualize yourself driving it down the street. Look at pictures of various countries you want to visit and let the ray of the cosmic diamond project itself to your higher psychic centers, showing you how to take those trips to distant lands. 11. While you sit in the silence, let your own conscious mind be blank. Visualize the diamond ray of infinite wisdom issuing from the cosmos, entering your own consciousness. See this like a ray of golden light penetrating your psychic centers at a point approximately between your two physical eyes. Then visualize a third eye in this higher brain center into which the psychic ray of the cosmic diamond penetrates, bringing with it all wisdom and knowledge. If you wish information about a certain subject, hold this subject in the forefront of your consciousness and let the golden ray play upon it, revealing all facets of knowledge about it to your conscious mind. How one woman found a lost diamond ring through this creative power. An example of how this power works was that of a woman who had lost a valuable diamond ring, which she had removed while doing her housework. She sat in a cult revelry, asking for guidance to find it. Nothing came though. She went about her normal housework, but an hour later, she was impelled to go to her work basket where she had been doing some embroidery that morning. She picked up the unfinished work and there was her ring. Then she remembered she had placed the ring on the material and later swept it into the basket without thinking. 12. Now you are ready to take the advanced occult step of recognition of the cosmic soul or spirit, the ray that motivates the life force which is clothed in a human body in its mystical journey through time and space, and which returns to the cosmic source at death. Go in to occult reverie and mentally take your place in the center of the cosmic diamond of illumination and divine inspiration. See yourself as the center of a vast, constellation of mental and spiritual powers. See the rays now emanating from your own spiritual center, your immortal soul. This is done by visualizing golden lines of radiant light stemming from the area of your heart and diaphragm. As you hold this image of the creative diamond rays, project them outward to other people, to the entire world. Hold in your consciousness the ray of light and illumination which is divine intelligence. See all wisdom as being yours. Know the secrets of the cosmos. Become one with the living, pulsating, growing, and evolving forces that inhabit the secret places of earth. Feel the divine emotion of ecstasy as you expand your consciousness to embrace all living things. 13. Next, concentrate the powers of your higher mind on the creative ray of the cosmic spirit or soul. Feel this ray penetrating your own higher mind, bringing it to the forefront of your consciousness, the image of beauty and idealism. Project this ray to your physical body first, creating the image of beauty and perfection. Then project this cosmic ray to your environment, creating order and harmony in it. Give yourself the occult treatment by saying the following invocation. I now project the diamond ray of beauty, order and harmony to my brain, body and my environment. All elements within me now glow with the illumination that stems from the cosmic soul of the universe. I now attune myself to the golden ray of life, and I become life incarnate. I now vibrate to the dynamic ray of intelligence, and my brain centers become illumined and know all secrets. I now radiate the cosmic ray of energy and creativity, and I blossom with new creative gifts in every department of my life. Now. Attune yourself to the diamond ray of cosmic creativity that exists in the elements making up our universe. To do this exercise, you may go out to nature, in a public park 
or country away from man-made cities and the confusion and noise of our modern civilization. Concentrate on the four diamond forces. The first is the diamond force of celestial fire. Project yourself mentally in the center of the solar system and align yourself with the fiery force of the sun's creative rays. Feel the celestial flame coursing through your veins. Feel the upward impelling urge to radiate the cosmic fire to every atom of the universe. Let this cosmic fire inspire and illuminate the centers of your consciousness with creative ideas for wealth, health, happiness, romantic fulfillment, and spiritual joy. 15. Next, you are ready to concentrate on the earth diamond ray, which crystallizes into form and structure of all created animate and inanimate forms. Become the center of the earth forces, the mystical creative center of the womb of earth, where all life has its origin and conception. Visualize the growing seed hidden therein, the dynamic center of earth, where the pulsating spiritual forces radiate from the cosmic spirit, animating and giving life to all creation. Repeat the following occult invocation for this exercise in concentration on the earth diamond ray. I am now the center of Mother Earth, fecund and fertile. I receive into my innermost being the spiritual seed of creative life, and I project into living reality the thoughts, ideas, and creative images that flower into growing living form. These life forms represent the essence of my life. I project from this cosmic matrix of the earth diamond all the creative forms that give value and substance to my mental, physical, and spiritual life. I plant within my consciousness the seed of creative substance and I see it blossom into a crop of abundance in every department of my life. I attune myself to nature's divine laws and am blessed with every good and beautiful thing that I desire in my own life. 16. Next you are ready to concentrate on the diamond ray of water. Mentally visualize a peaceful lake surrounded by trees and reflecting its serene surface, the sun, moon, and stars. Mentally, become like that lake, the center of all peace and quiescence. Now feel the flowing, pulsating rhythm of water as it gushes forth on its mystical journey to the sea. Become one with the life rhythm and cadence of that stream as your soul searches for the cosmic sea into which you pour your divine essence to merge and coalesce with the divine stream of cosmic life. Blend with the falling rain that cleanses the earth and causes all things to grow. Mentally stand beside the seashore and look out to the horizon, projecting yourself mentally into the cosmic mystery and try to absorb the beauty of the incandescent golden sunlight reflecting in the oceans of the world. Mentally say to yourself, Boundless and infinite as the earth sees is the divine stream of God's infinite love and celestial flow of abundance and good for all living creatures. I am now a part of this golden panorama of creative life and my mind, body and soul are the earthly recipients of this cosmic flow of spiritual waters that abundantly bless my life. I am now baptized in the cosmic stream of infinite love and beauty and I become one with the cosmic soul that motivates all creation. 17. Now you are ready to take another step upward on the mystical and occult path that leads to the greater power and understanding. You may concentrate on the spiritual and cosmic ray of the universal diamond which deals with the higher forces that exist in the universe. This step in concentration is called the Lord of the Diamond. This has to do with the spiritual and cosmic ray which deals with the higher forces that emanate from the cosmic spirit and which control man. 18. The first stage of concentration deals with germination and creative principle of the diamond of cosmic life 
force. Visualize this creative ray from the cosmic diamond as a pure white beam of light which flows through the prism of cosmic consciousness. When such a beam of white light is projected through a prism, it is broken up into seven component colors. This is the cosmic spectrum of the universal rainbow, symbol of faith and hope in the cosmic intelligence. Visualize all seven colors of the rainbow while you're in meditation and let your higher psychic centers be bathed by these astral colors. Red stimulates green and blue are sedative in effect. Rose is inspirational. Mauve is highly spiritual. Yellow represents the sun and vibrates to power and success. Surround yourself with these astral colors in your home and wear clothes that give off subtle radiations of the universal rainbow. Summary. One, the occult cosmic diamond and how to release tremendous occult creative power for motivating your life into channels of abundance, good, health, happiness, and love fulfillment. Two, the seven occult rays from the cosmic diamond and their special function to magnetize your higher mind and create an attraction to everything you desire in life. Three, the secret power back of all creation through vibrations that can shape the visible and invisible world of matter. Four, how you may tap the power of the first physical ray that controls your body, giving you health, youthful vigor, and long life. Five, the diamond ray that rules the emotions and human desires, and how to let occult power flow in periodic cycles that duplicate perfectly all the creative processes of nature. Six, the diamond occult ray that controls the intellect, logic, and reason, and how to use imagination, visualization, and concentration, the three diamond rays that can completely change your life. 7. How you may tap the psychic and intellectual rays of the cosmic diamond, opening up the psychic and clairvoyant centers of your higher mind to know your future, to solve problems, and to find fulfillment of your innermost dreams. 8 the etheric and astral ray of the cosmic diamond and how you may tap the subtle spiritual essence that permeates the universe, shaping it to your exact needs in mental, material, and spiritual riches. Nine, how to find the secret of eternal youth through the etheric and astral ray and discover the indestructible you in the mirror image that never grows old, sick, or dies. 10. How to use the diamond ray of cosmic creativity and put yourself in tune with the natural forces of celestial fire, diamond, ether, diamond water, and diamond earth. Utilizing these cosmic elements to rise to the celestial stratosphere of divine inspiration. 11. How to tune yourself to the diamond ray of the highest forces that exist in the universe, known as the Lord of the Diamond, and giving you spiritual and cosmic powers to perform amazing miracles. 12. The seven cosmic rays of light and astral colors that radiate from the cosmic diamond and how to use them for healing and peace and quiescence and to achieve completion in all departments of your life. And that is this chapter on the Cosmic Diamond by Anthony Norvell. You know, it's interesting when we deal with new age, occult, understanding how to meditate, and a lot of these different varying sciences, there's such a fascination and contemplation of rays and colors. And really, perhaps we are being pushed through the prism, our soul is being pushed through a prism and it separates down into the body that we have. A lot of times these colors are associated with chakras, but you notice he does not mention chakras. There's not necessarily a need to focus on the ray itself and what it does and how it works. Maybe more important, and some of these rays have nothing to do with parts of your body. And so in some situations, perhaps there is an overt emphasis on the physical location of the chakra and not the idea or power behind it. For you to remember the colors of the rainbow are Roy G. Biv, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And those are the colors of the chakras. And he enlists some different colors of the rays. It is very likely and a cool concept to think of the 
power source for the universe coming from a diamond, a very dense substance, something so dense that light is refracted and rays are differentiated as it comes through. But don't get caught up in the hows or correctness of this. This is really in probably most cases a metaphor that Norvell is using to explain how to differentiate these different rays of power. And when you focus on them individually, when he calls occult reverie, which is really just meditation, when you do that in the silence and you focus on these different rays of power, they can lift you up, especially with the affirmations that he gives on how to tune into different forces. There clearly are different forces. There's forces of emotion. There's forces of intelligence, of wisdom, and they each, when focused upon, can enhance who you are and your abilities, what you have and how you observe the world. And it's a constant, ongoing project of experimentation and research that we all are undergoing. And there are combinations of colors, and they all mean something, and they all do something. And I'm constantly being introduced to new rays and new ideas. Obviously, we're surrounded by these powerful energies all around us. And tapping into these energies, understanding how to use them and differentiate them is an important process. And we can learn more about that as we look back at gurus like Anthony Norvell, who was a great writer, and others like the Law of One that talk about the different rays as well. It's been discussed in so many different books. In fact, many scholars argue that it's discussed in the book of Revelation by talking about the churches as the different rays. Who knows? There clearly are different energetic systems that you are accessing through your body, through different parts of your body, through your mind, that access higher powers. And going through this sort of evolutionary process of understanding, following the breadcrumbs to what they mean can really enhance your ability to manifest your desires and create your reality. I'd love to get your impressions of this particular reading. If you've ever heard anything similar to it, if you ever accessed any of these rays in particular, and if you have any success by utilizing these affirmations, I would love to hear about it. All episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. <laughs>